Welcome to the Test Project demonstration video. Test Project is a framework designed for automated testing. In this video, we will demonstrate how to record mobile tests. To start working, let's set up Test Project Agent on your computer. The agent includes the latest SDKs and components you need to create and run your test automation. Let's go to the Agents tab and click on Download. Test Project recognizes your current operating system. The agent can run on any major operating system and you can manually select the one you need. Once the download is complete, start the installation wizard. Please wait until the installation is complete. It might take a few minutes. We're almost done. Just make sure that your test project agent is running on your computer by searching for the test project agent icon in your system tray. Now you will have to register the test project agent with your account. Press on the register button and provide an agent name. Click on save. Next, click on register to finalize the process. You will now see that a new tab pops up. Follow the instructions on the new tab to complete the agent registration. Once the registration is complete, you can close the tab or wait for it to close automatically. In the main screen, you can see your agent up and running. The icon color indicates the agent status. Green, ready for recording. Orange, busy. Gray, disconnected. The first thing you need to do is create a new project. A project is a collaborative space that focuses on a specific product or release you might have. You can invite specific team members and grant relevant permissions based on projects. At this stage, we recommend plugging your Android device into your desktop via a USB cable. Pay attention that the Android device should be in a developer mode. Enable it if it's not activated. Open the Settings app. Only on Android 8.0 or higher, select System. Scroll to the bottom and select About Phone. Scroll to the bottom and tap Build Number seven times. Return to the previous screen to find Developer Options near the bottom. Next, you should scroll down a little and enable USB debugging. Once plugged in, a pop-up will appear asking you to authorize the device for use with Test Project. This is a security measure. Press on the New Test button. Select the desired test type. This video will focus on mobile Android test recording, so let's select mobile and Android. Give the test a name and a description and press Next. Select your mobile application. You can choose one that you previously created or create a new one. To create a new application, you can upload your APK file or select the application from the list of the device's installed applications. The package name and the default activity will be identified by test project agents automatically. We will use YouTube as an example. You have two options for test automation. Record, which is a live recording of your test, or design, for offline work with the application. In this video, we're showing you how to record your test. Select Record. In this test video, we are recording a test that will search YouTube for different keyword values. As it is shown in the Recorder widget, there is a step of Reset Application that is created by default. You can delete or disable this step according to your application's behavior. Move your mouse cursor to the Search Input and type the desired value. Selenium Tutorial. A step will be recorded. Click on the first item in the search suggested results. Select one of the videos and choose Tap Action. To see the first 15 seconds of the video, add a manual step with a 15-second timeout. Tap back to get to the main YouTube screen. Let's replay the test. Let's go to the actual step that types the text and create a parameter. In our case, search value with a default text, Selenium Tutorial. 
we need to make this parameter accessible from outside the test. Select Input Output and choose the parameter you created. Before going on to the next steps, let's do a quick review of the characteristics of the test steps. Each step can be clicked to reveal additional information on it. The step's name, comments to clarify the step, the step type. For example, this is an element-based step. Element locator, ID, XPath, etc. Step failure actions. Continue, stop, run another test. Capture screen. Step timeout and pause. Repeat a step in case required. On the bottom, more operations are available. Duplicate, disable, delete. Now let's run the test with an external data source. Download a CSV template for the test created. Open the CSV file and enter the following values. Selenium Tutorial and Appium Tutorial. Go to Data Files and click New Data Source to upload the CSV file. Now we should create a new job. A job allows you to run several tests on multiple devices with external data source. Provide a job name, select the type and the desired agent, select a set of desired devices. You can schedule the job run at any time or on demand. Drag and drop into the job the desired test to run it as part of the job. Attach the data source you created earlier, Now you can run the job on selected devices with the data source supplied. Test Project allows you to view and control the screen of the devices connected to your computer. To do that, go to Agents and then click on the View link. To see the job results, press on Reports. Select the relevant project and desired job execution. On the right panel, you can see the different test iterations with values supplied via data source. Congratulations! You created your first mobile test. You are now ready to record any mobile test you want.